Hello guys and welcome back to another simulation. We are back again with the Beechcraft Baron B58 and today we're going to be starting somewhere familiar. We're going to be starting from Binalanan Airport, RPT-20 and we're going to be headed to Clark again. Okay, so uh, this is the beautiful airport of Binilonan. What we're going to be doing is a VFR departure from uh, what it looks to be a runway 35. And then uh, we're going to do a an IFR approach and arrival. Uh, arrival and approach into Clark International. All right, so let's get this started. Okay, jumping into the flight deck of the Beechcraft Baron. Uh, what we have different from this flight is uh, I have a checklist and a table of reference, uh, speeds and power settings in hand. So, hindi na tayo masyadong lilito when it comes to, uh, to doing things uh, to standard. And I actually have a friend who is a, an actual pilot in one of these aircraft and he gave me some tips and tricks uh, so that we can make our simulation more realistic when it comes to flying the Beechcraft Baron. All right, so let's start with the interior checklist. Uh, initial check is complete, exterior check. Uh, let's assume that we've already finished our 360 check, passenger briefing. Okay, this will be a short, uh, quick hop, uh, 45 minutes or less to uh, Clark International. We're gonna be doing again a VFR departure. Cruising at uh, 5,000 feet, we're gonna be making a left downwind departure from runway 35, and then on to Clark. All right, so next is the Hobbs tack time, which is checked. Fuel selector is uh, on. Uh, emergency gear crank is free, interior checklist complete. Moving on to the start checklist, seat track and back locked. Emergency static is drained, circuit breakers are in. Let's check the circuit breakers. Circuit breakers are in. Uh, next are the rotor pedals, uh, which are set, avionics are off. Let's turn off the avionics. All right, avionics are off. AC and autopilot are off, cowl flaps are open. Let's make sure that the cowl flaps are fully open for the cooling of the engine. And uh, what else do we have? The beacon lights are on, brakes and, uh, and brakes are set. So beacon lights on, brakes are set, park and brake pull. All right, so that's all set. Okay, starting engine. Hopefully this, uh, we have a good start this time. Unlike the last time where we had a little bit of technical difficulties when starting the engine. Okay, so uh, starting engine, uh, starting the left-hand engine first, engine number one, mixture is rich, prop full. Okay, for both, uh, battery is on. Electric fuel pump, or fuel boost pump in this case, on. Throttle slight, oh sorry, throttle full open before the battery, and then throttle slight. Okay, and then prop clear, okay, props are clear, and then magnetos to start. Okay, prop clear, and starting engine. All right, good start. Left hand alternator is on. Starting right hand engine. Okay, we have uh, mixture rich. Prop still forward and starting engine. Prop clear. All right, engine number two is clear. Magnetos to both and start. All right, good start. Engine oil temperature and pressure. Okay, oil pressure is on the green. Okay. Right hand alternator is on. All right. Engine number two start. Lights as required, so we're going to turn on our nav lights since this is going to be a flight that'll uh, eventually reach into the night. 
Okay, make sure it is as required. All right, our star checklist is complete. Now let's move on to the pre-taxi uh, pre checklist. Seat belts and harness are checked. Flaps are up. Heat, vents, and defrost as required. Checked. Uh, avionics on. Now we get to set up the avionics. All right. So today we're going to be going to Clark. So direct to, and then, oh, what's here already? So RPLC. So now we can select the approach. I don't know that. Okay, I guess we're going to have to re enter Clark. RPLC activate. Now let's select the approach. We're going to expect ILS 20 V uh, Nabal. Okay. Now let's set up the comms and nav radios. Okay, the first uh, frequency that we have is Binalan and radio. And then Clark approach, which is 119. Point two. Okay, for the uh, navigation radios, we have one one three point one and one one zero point one. Okay, we'll merge that to nav two. All right, we're all set. Okay. Now let's set the uh, Clark Tower to nat to comms two, so that we'll, we'll we'll just be a button push away once we switch to Clark Tower one eight point seven, and then Clark Ground one two four point three. Okay, so one one eight point seven for Clark. Tower and one two four point three for Clark Ground. Okay, for Clark Ground Taxi. All right, nice. All right, so de ice electric test. So let's test uh, the de icing and anti ice. Okay, that's checked. And we'll turn on the transponder and set squawk 1200 since this is going to be a VFR departure. All right. Next, we have the ATIS. ATIS is checked. Altimeter is set. Setting 250 feet above a mean sea level, which is our elevation for Binalonen. And uh, next is the lights. Okay. We have turned on the beacon and nav lights. And that's all good. Brakes test. We'll do that after. We do the attitude indicator is uh, set correctly. Our turn coordinator is all right. And heading indicator is aligned with the magnetic compass, indicating 355. Okay, so the pre tax checklist is complete. Now all that's left to do is brakes check. Okay. Uh, Binalon and advisory, November 4 5 X ray Sierra, ramp. Uh, bay 5, let's say Bay 5, uh, taxiing to run up area. Okay, so wala tayong, ano yun, wala tayong tower kasi uh, nagpas 5 o'clock na and uh, wala na si Sir Neil. Nang time out na siya. <laughs> okay, so one thing that we have to do is turn on a prop sync. Okay, para ano tayo, all good style sa may prop, uh, sa may ano. Uh, so that we know if our props are out of sync when it comes to the RPM, because it has to be the same, or else the uh, fuel consumption, the fuel consumption and performance of the aircraft will uh, differ. Okay, so uh, yeah, so now we're ready for a brakes check, and then okay, clear left side, clear right side, 
and brakes check. Okay. All right, brakes on my side are good. And taxiing to run up area. Okay, normally we'd be facing into the wind, but on my own, it looks like there isn't actually any wind, so we're just gonna face the sunset instead. But, uh, you know, most dramatic, <laughs> and it uh, looks nicer as well. Okay, so uh, for the run-up checklist, brakes set, checked, electrical trim and autopilot is checked. Trim set for takeoff, we're gonna set takeoff trim, trim to uh, 56%. All right. Uh, next we have our flight controls check. Okay, flight control check. Banking left, left aileron up, right aileron down, banking right, right aileron up, and left aileron is down. Elevator up, elevator down. Rudder right, rudder left. Flight controls are free and correct. Instruments are checked. Uh, airspeed indicator in indicating zero. Uh, add to indicator wings level. Altimeter indicating uh, to uh, 150 feet. Uh, two niner decimal niner five. Uh, VSI indicating zero. Um, HSI aligned uh, with magnetic compass and the turn and turn coordinator ball needle are centered. Okay. Uh, next, we have our mixture, which is set to rich, best power. Okay, starter light is off and props to 2,200 RPM so that we can cycle them. Okay, so the reason why we cycle the props are because it's a constant speed propeller and uh, the... Uh, when we start with the air, the aircraft up till takeoff, uh, the props are stuck in the uh, what do you call that uh, in 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 uh, one constant position, and we want to uh, make the mechanism of that constant speed propeller uh, vary. Why? Because we want to circulate the oil. Because that's how it works. That's the, that's how the governor of the constant propeller works. Okay, and we want uh, the like your engine the oil in that the governor to be warmed up okay so cycling the left hand engine 1500 and back to 2200 uh, we want to do that three times so that we can make sure that all the oil is in the same operating temperature Right hand engine. Oops, let me just move the tight end. All right, now let's power down to uh, one thousand seven hundred and do the magneto check. Okay, left hand engine magneto check. Magneto right, 100 drop, back to both, Magneto left, 100 drop, back to both. Alright, right hand engine, Magneto check, Magneto right, back to both, 100 drop, Magneto left, 100 drop, back to both. Okay. Now we're gonna power it back to power down to uh, 1,500 and do the feather test, which where we're gonna look at the indications in the manifold pressure, RPM, and oil pressure as, as we feather the propeller. Okay, so feather test, uh, left hand engine, manifold pressure check, RPM. and oil pressure all right so all we all we needed to do uh all we need to see are these three needles moving the manifold pressure rpm and the oil pressure 
Okay, next. Right hand engine, manifold pressure check. RPM check. And wheel pressure check. All right. Next, we have your gyro pressure, which is check, alternator amps and volts, checked, oil pressure, and temperature. And the green. Okay. And next is a throttle idle. And no vibrations checked, closed. All right. Friction lock is set, and we have completed the run up checks. Okay, let's turn on the taxi light since it's getting a little dark now. Okay. Nice. Okay, run up checklist complete. Pre takeoff checklist. Flaps up. Flap zero checked. Pro props to high RPM or full forward checked. Uh, mixture is rich. Best power check. Fuel pumps are off. Let's turn off the fuel pumps. Okay, fuel pumps are off. Uh, AC is off. Heading indicator, line of magnetic compass checked. Doors and windows are closed. Pitot heat not required. De ice, requi de -ice equipment not required. Transponder out and squawk VFR. Okay, we need to hurry because the sun is setting. All right, so lights as required. Time note breaks released and take of data and departure. Okay, all that's all that's left is for the departure brief. Okay, so as we mentioned again, this is gonna be a V for our departure. Uh, we're gonna make a left down departure uh, from runway three five. And if there is any engine malfunction before rotation, I'll abort the takeoff and the pull throttle to idle and to stop the aircraft. No action should be done until the aircraft has come to a complete stop. And if engine fails after rotation, I'll deviate. I'll, I'll consider deviation of 45 degrees to the left or to the right for obstacle clearance. After which I'll maintain the best glide speed of uh, 110 knots uh, and pick a suitable landing spot. Now, unless you have any questions, this concludes the uh, takeoff and departure briefing. All right, so the pre-takeoff uh, checklist has been complete and now let's set the aircraft for takeoff. All right. And been alone advisor in November 4 or 5 X ray Sierra. Run up area taxiing to a holding point runway 35. Okay, so normally at this time, uh, may mga tao nang jogging na in sa runway and stuff. All right, this is making me miss actual flying even more. Bin Law Advisory, November 4 5 X Sierra, holding point runway 35. Any aircraft based file, please acknowledge. Negative aircraft based for final, November 4 5 X Ray Sierra, lining up for runway 35. So landing lights are on and strobes are on as well. Lining up runway 35. Ganda ng binalona, no? If only it was like this in real life. Look at those threshold lights. <laughs> Tapos ang ganda pa ng, ano, ng uh, runway marking, so...
all right. Let's try not to uh, go into the grass. All right, take off. I have control. Wow, look at the, those threshold lights. Okay, I have control and setting 2,000 RPM. Stable and setting takeoff thrust. Whoops. Engine instruments are on the green, airspeed is alive. Airspeed 85, rotate. We have positive rate gear up. We're waiting for 300 feet above ground level. 300 feet landing lights off, taxi lights off. And this will be the time that we have flaps up if we were on another aircraft. Okay. 600 feet above ground level, we're going to be turning crosswind. Okay, Clark VOR is identified. So let's set the hitting bug to 260 so we can turn on the autopilot. So heading mode and autopilot on nice okay two six zero for now actually we can now turn down and uh bin Laden advisory november four five x sierra uh crosswind to runway three five now we'll be turning down and making a left downward departure for uh clark Seven. Yeah, it's a one seven. Now let's take a gander at Binalona. Wow, look at that! Look at that view. Amazing. May rotating beacon pala yung binalawanan na eh, no? <laughs> nice! Look at that. Green and white. Alright, and the city in front of us is, I believe, Urdaneta. Alright, so now let's uh, track the radio that we're supposed to, uh, which is 353. Radio Our target altitude is again 5,000. Okay. So everything seems to be good. Cal flaps are open. We're going to close them once we get to our cruising altitude.
and been on advisory will now be switching to Clark Approach. Good evening. Yo. We're going to be contacting Clark Approach once we uh, establish our altitude of uh, 5,000 and once we're inbound on the radial 353. So we're almost at uh, 5,000. Okay, 5,000. Altitude hold. We're gonna wait for the airspeed to increase for setting the cruise power of uh, 23 inches of mercury and the manifold pressure and 2300 RPM. Okay, so increase power, 2300, uh, 23 on the manifold pressure and 2300 on the RPM. All right, that's set. And uh, let's decrease the fuel flow a bit. Hit uh, 17 gallons per hour. EGT is rising, that's okay. Nice. Alright, we'll be cruising at 160 knots. Alright, real good. So, all that's left to do is for us to intercept. Uh, radial 353 